Good morning. Madam Phil. I'm happy to be here. And I hope all these teachings you have learned, first you want to remember and be able to apply to yourselves. And also, and also you can teach others and train others. Now, so, so these are a few steps. First you remember the content of the teaching. And then when someone tries to hurt you or you get angry, you about the sin that you pay attention to yourself and then handle the problems yourself. And then you can teach others how to apply to, your, to themselves. And then you can train others to be able to teach others. No, no, utoza bandi, basore utoza bandi. Now I hope you all have this vision. Whatever you have learned here or elsewhere, if you find it good, that first you remember and don't forget it. And then second you can apply it when you are at home. And then you can teach others. And then you can teach others. Now to train others means that you teach them and then tell them to train other people. Now if you are able to do that, then you can have disciples. And also it's very important that we ask God's guidance how to handle problems. Let me tell you, a lot of my teachings came from my daily life when God helps me to handle different problems. And then I remember how I, I handled the problems. And then I remember it. And then I can teach others. Now, yesterday we talked about how to handle sins. Now in a similar way you can we can use the same method to learn not to be affected by people. And how to overcome our negative thinking and negative emotions. Now, do you remember the five steps to victory? I hope you remember it. And then apply it. Okay, would you say again the five steps? Can you say it? Can you? Without look, looking at your notes, can you remember the five steps of victory? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 What, what does the Bible tell us? It's this. Yeah, destructive. destructive. You can remember the key word, destructive. Number three. Number three. Mm. False and pray. This is number four. 
Yes, it's number three. Tell me that too. Right. Mm -hmm. What does the Bible tell me to do? Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. number, mm -hmm. number four. Jackane. Pray. Gusenga. Pray to ask forgiveness and to get strength. Two things. Gusenga kujirango imani tu jireneza itu ibeku komera ibeku kupiri nicha. And then number five. Jackatano. Choose to obey. Itamo kumbiri mana. Very good. Oh, jiza chani. Now, let me tell you, there are two things I want to talk about today. So, there's a lot. I mean two big things, not two small things. But I actually combined it, uh, the first part, you know, the different elements, put it into one teaching. What I'm going to talk about this session is, how not to be uh, affected by people and to overcome negative thinking and negative feelings. Now, you know, there are people around us that have heard us, right? that we are affected by them. When we are affected by them, then we cannot walk in the perfect will of God. Because people have negative, uh, negative thinking and they have sinful nature, that's why a lot of people would hurt people. And even in the church, there are many negative thinking and negative talks. Let me ask you, in the last week, have you been angry with someone? Have you been angry with someone? Have you been unhappy? Did you have burdens? Now, if you have those things, they will affect you. And, you know, if I have these things bother me, I will not be very free when I pray. And I will not be able to receive teachings from the Lord. I will have burdens. Because this first, this Bible verse, Proverbs 4.23, Ah, imigani makane murogama kunyari nagatatu. Now it's most important that you write down the verses. There it says that above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. What it says is, we have to protect the heart from any negative things, any sins. Because the whole life flows from it. Why are some people unhappy as easily? Because they have a lot of anger and frustration. So if we handle the inside of us that we are clear of these problems, then we will not be affected by this negative thinking. So it's very important that we guard the heart. And then Luke 6.45. Luke 6.45. 
A good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth good, and an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart brings forth evil. For out of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaks. Dero kumurongo wa mirongo ni nagatano gumuno mwiza atanga ibyiza abikwiye ubu tunzi bwiza ba mu mutima we no muno mubi atanga ibibi abikuye mu butunzi bwe bubi uko ibyuzu uyu mutima ari cyo akanwa kavuga If a person has frustration and unhappy feelings inside him what will flow out are frustrated words negative words have you noticed the negative words from many people around you? Is it why you want to have a Baba Yamushia, where I have a boy, you just want to teach it, or what would you have to go to? Have you noticed it? How many people, how many people, people have noticed that many, the people around you are Okay, so you all have noticed that. Yeah, Let me ask you one question. Have you found one person whose words are always gentle and builds up people? Have you found someone who always speak gently? And always are nice to people? And who don't get angry easily? How many have you found? How many people like that have you found? He has found, he has found one. He has found one. How many have you found? Like that? Three. 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 Okay. Four. Two. Four. Oh, he's so far. Five. Five. Okay. Let me tell you. Make up a game. Now, in the church, you might not see the real life. You, you want to see how a person really is? You have to be able in his, in his home and know how he relates to his family members and how he relates to people in difficult situations and then you know his life. Because in the church generally is, you know, you don't have any, not much comfort. But when people have conflict, the anger inside will come out. And also many people do not pay attention to the anger inside or how they are affected by people. I use a simple example. You said to someone, I'll wait for you at 10 o'clock, we want to go do something together. And then at 10 o'clock you waited for the person and the person doesn't come at 10, 30, 11. Now let me ask you, how do you feel inside? Very how do you feel? When anger comes out, when anger comes out, or if you know that someone has stolen some money from you. No, 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 no,
Or someone stole money from the church. Or someone has hurt another person. Or someone yelled at you. How would you feel? Now it's normal that we will feel angry. The point is, do we continue to be angry? If the person comes late and then you get angry, why did you come so late? And then, all, and then all day long we are unhappy with that person. Now, if someone stole some money from you or from the church, it's very bad. But if we continue to be angry, we cannot handle the situation and we cannot help the person. Why is it so hard for so many parents to help the children? Because when they see that the children is not the children are not good. And then they will be angry and spank the, ch the child. Why are you like that? Now even though the child is wrong, but if we get angry with them, or your husband or wife, does it help the situation? Or your co-worker in the church, when you are angry with the person, does it help? Does it make things easier? Now, let me ask you, when you grow up, do your parents sometimes get very angry with you for a long time? How does it affect you? Does it make you feel motivated to change? Or you have negative feelings from these experiences? Well, now we notice that even when people sin, and even when the Pharisees attack Jesus, Jesus just answered their question. And Jesus did not say, did not say this. He did not say, well, I'm going to give up. I want, I'm going to walk out. You, you always attack me. Did Jesus do that? When Peter was about to deny him three times, did Jesus say, whoa? Ah, you're terrible. Let me ask you, when you face problem, does it sometimes make you angry and the anger make things worse? Does it make things worse? Like with husband and wife, and then your husband and wife doesn't want to talk to you for a few days or a week, or sometimes even some, you know, some uh, couples, they don't talk to each other for a long time. Does it help when it happens? Let me ask you this question. Do you want to overcome this problem? Do you want to overcome this problem? Have, have you seen someone that you have done something wrong and a person was still gentle with you and guide you to repentance and change the situation? Have you met someone like that? Now, 
aho bakakitonda gatuza aho bakakugiza ubutima bwa neza agerageza kuguhindura agerageza kukubwiza neza ngo umuntu mwigeze mumubona bene when you do something wrong generally they get angry right ariko yuko zikiri urakaza mugenzi wawe does it make things easier ese byo 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 kuri birafasha okay let me tell you the key the key is if someone has done something wrong it is his problem if I don't take the problem internally and I can be gentle with him and guide him gradually to handle the problem no no nga mwaza kahoro ngacha kukufinga ganira nawo kugira ngo mufashe gukemura icyo kibazo then problems will be solved easier icyo kibazo rero kizakemuka mu buryo bworoshye have you come across situation you get angry with someone harawo ageze ukagera aho urakarira umuntu ukagera mu bihe bikukoyo ukagera aho urakarira umuntu and then he turn and attack you aho wa murakare no kaguhindukirana kagusarana and make things very complicated no maybe because some by chani you first he was wrong uribuke kandi wewe ni wewe wa munyamakosa and then we are angry wo uramurakarira and then when we are angry he attack us no no umubwiye ibye na umutonganije no 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 azana urakari bwinshi cyane and then it became very complicated no no rwose bizirusha kuzamba have you come across situation like that wari wagera mu bihe bimeze nk'ibyo do you want to avoid it now the key to this as i said yesterday i'm going to talk about some more keys psalm 118 verse 6 if god is for me i'm not afraid what can people do to me so if God helps me, I'm not afraid. What can people do to me? So if he is wrong, so what? Because the Bible says all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. One very important principle to remember. All have sinned. If they have not sinned, it, it doesn't mean the end of the world. We don't have to be angry. Now we might be angry for a short time. But we immediately take care of it. Because we say it doesn't matter. Peter has done something wrong. David has done something terrible. And Moses has sinned when he was angry with the people. All the people in the Bible have sinned. So if he has sinned, so what? And also, we believe that what they want to do to attack us doesn't matter. In Romans chapter 15 verse 3 For even Christ did not uh, oh, the last part the reproaches or the you know the negative words of those who reproaches you fell on me fell on Jesus So when people yell at us they really they are yelling at Jesus. So when they yell at 
us actually it fell on to Jesus. When I seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all these things will be added to me. God will protect me. And Joseph in the Bible. You know, Joseph has been sold by his brothers. And then later he found his brothers. And then, you know, all his brothers and his father came to Egypt. And then, you know, the brothers, after the father died, the brothers thought Joseph was going to kill them. But then Joseph said, you know, you meant it to hurt me, but God has meant it to bless me and bless all people to save us. Let me ask you, can you believe that even when people attack you, God can protect you. It doesn't matter that they attack me. That way when they have sinned, I say, I say to God, you have a wonderful plan. It doesn't matter that people attack me. If I'm wrong, I ask God and people to forgive me. If I haven't done anything wrong, it did something bad to me, I can handle it inside. And I can say it doesn't matter. Actually, these people who hurt us, they are in a more terrible condition. You know, there are some people who try to get money from me. Or they were able to get some money or even steal money from me. I said, it's terrible for them. God will be after them. So I don't get angry. Because God will give it back to me. When I was attacked, attacked in the traditional church because they don't accept the work of the Holy Spirit. After experience of the Holy Spirit, I brought many people to the church. The church grew very quickly from one service to two services. And full of people. And people want to serve God. It was in that situation that they attacked me. They don't, they don't look at the fruit. Actually, it's one person that just doesn't like the work of the Holy Spirit. And she just decided to attack me. When I finally had to leave, as I said, she, they paid me three months' salary to say, well, your way is not our way. They haven't, they haven't found anything wrong with me. And, but they asked me to leave because they, they said, well, your, your way is not our way. It seems that I was at a loss. But God opened a bigger, bigger way for me. If I had stayed in a church, I would not be like today. And now I can do much more. Now, at that time, I was angry with that woman. 
And then, you know, I thought maybe one day you'll get very sick and cancer and then die. But God talked talk to me and said, don't have that thought, and I decided to bless her. And I pray that God will bless her so that she'll be faithful in her way. Now it has happened to me a number of times different situation. Some people said to me, Pastor, you, you, if you had not, because at that time I was not living in Hong Kong, I was living overseas, and then I returned to Hong Kong. The person said, if you had not returned to Hong Kong, you would have a big church, because the church I was in, it was a big church. And someone, you know, he, she laughed at me by talking to my wife and said, Look, Pastor Yim is standing at the street corner to give out tracts. In the past, he had a big church. Now he's standing at the corner giving out tracts, trying to build a church. So I heard words like this, you know, from time to time. But God taught me to believe that God is in control of everything. I don't have to be affected by people. God is open a wider way. So when I see these people, I can still be smiling and be gentle. Now one time, there was someone who was against me, against the work of the Holy Spirit. And he brought a pastor, and then he talked to me, this person who is against the work of the Holy Spirit. He talked for a period of time, accusing me. When I discern that he doesn't accept the work of the Holy Spirit, I know I don't have to fight back. I just listened to him, and then I said something to bless him, and then he left. And the pastor said to me afterwards, Pastor Yip, you are really something. While he was talking to you like that, you were not angry, you did not fight back. Because I know it's no use to fight back. It doesn't matter what he said. What he said has no authority in heaven. And the other time, this pastor asked him to come together and then have us pray together to take away his anger. So using the five steps to victory, when, when people attack you and you feel unhappy, first, I'm aware I'm unhappy, I'm affected by the person. Let, let me ask you, has someone hurt you this week or this month? Has someone said something negative to you this month? Think about that situation. And, and think about how you responded. 
So if you go back to that situation, now you are aware you were angry. At that time you might not be aware. At that time you might say, he's so bad, I'm gonna be angry with him. But now you're aware. And now and then what's number two? It's destructive. If I'm affected by him, I will, I will lose my peace and my joy. Now you see that when I pray, I have peace and joy and people experience the joy of the Lord also. It's God's blessing. But another reason is, I don't let any anger stay in me. I don't let any frustration stay in me. Someone else's problem, that is garbage. If you He's not garbage. He is he the person is not garbage. But what he said came from his sinful nature and is garbage. Now, 